So why is sitting killing us? And I want to talk about some easy things that we can do about it. Hi, my name's Christine L. Conroy. Welcome to Happy Stuff and Fluff, a channel for women over 50 who are getting happy and growing younger. Well, we're seeing this everywhere, aren't we now? And I'm very conscious of it. This idea that sitting is the new smoking. More and more research is being done to prove that this is actually a fact. Sitting is killing us. Do you know the average person sits for nine hours a day? Now, why is this not a good idea? Why is it vital to move? Well, just have a look at this. Sitting for too long causes heart disease. And this is because, obviously, when you sit down and you're sitting still, blood flows more slowly, which has the risk of allowing fatty acids to clog the heart. Okay, And incidentally, these are just some of the things. I'm going to leave a link down below to an excellent article, um, kind of like a, a pictogram. Um, that will explain this to you beautifully. Um, yeah, brain fog. Sitting hinders the flow of blood and oxygen to the brain. Well, that also makes sense, doesn't it, when you sit still? I mean, have you ever said, I need to go out for a walk to clear my head? Ta-da! <laughs> That's why. That's precisely why. And then, oh, cancer. Um, especially these according to the uh, website cancer.org, which I'll put down below, especially multiple myeloma, breast and ovarian cancer. Now, I'm not sure of the exact reason for this, but uh, it's apparently possibly because movement boosts the natural oxidants in the body that kill cancer-causing free radicals. So these are just some of the things that we're finding out uh, the dangers of sitting. Now the thing is, if you are a person who um, gets up in the morning and does a workout before you go to work, or um, maybe you go to the gym when you come back from work, of course you might do none of these, but if you do, and you think, um, right, well I've been for my, I don't know, 20 minute, half an hour workout in the morning, that's my exercise done. Unfortunately, that's not the way it is. Now, don't let me dissuade anybody from doing that because the more exercise you do, the better, obviously. But I'm not talking about exercise here. I'm just talking about movement, moving. So when all this research started to come out about sitting is the new smoking, people started to invest in um, uh, standing desks. I know we have them in our business uh, that people can stand as opposed to sitting. But that's not good either. It isn't good to stand in one place the whole time. It's equally as bad to do that as it is to sit. The whole idea is to be on the move and to move all the time. Now, what happens if you um, you get up in the morning, you sit down for breakfast, you get in the car, you sit down in the car to go to work, and then you sit at a desk, and then you sit coming home, and then you sit and have dinner, and then you sit and watch TV. You can see how that nine hours builds up, can't you? So what you have to do is to if move at your desk, literally just move your shoulders. Because if you look on this um, thing, it's not just about the biggies it causes problems. You know yourself, um, if you've been sitting down for a long time and you go to get up, already your joints are stiff and you can feel your shoulders and your neck stiffening. Well, on a daily basis, that's going to cause some real problems to the structure of your amazing body we need to be treating it better and just by moving stretching in place you know nothing too weird that people are gonna wonder what on earth you're doing rolling your ankles doing those kind of things but obviously the best thing is to get up and move now you'll see i'm wearing um a fitbit 
Um, there's loads of them on the market. I can't really recommend one because I don't know what you would want to use it for, but I'm going to put um, have a look at some of the ones that I put down below and see if there's one that would um, would be suitable for you. Uh, obviously, it's the, the basic ones count your steps. So you can say how many steps you need to do. I mean, the average is 10,000. You could put 5,000 in to start with. And this thing will remind you on the hour, every hour, to get up and move. Not only that, it will tell you how many steps you need to do in neck now to come up to the hour that's going to keep you on track for doing the amount of steps that you need to do. And for me, this has been a godsend because, as you know, I sit at my computer the whole time. I've always been conscious of posture because I'm tall. I'm five foot eight last measurement and I'm very conscious of never stooping I mean my mother always used to say breathe in shoulders back and down tummy in she always made us walk that way and I'm very conscious of bending moving forward and sitting straight posture's good um, nevertheless sitting down um, all the time I know is having a, a very bad effect on me so this is helping um because I do get engrossed in my work, I love what I'm doing, I'm in the flow and before I know it, chores have gone by and I've been sitting down. So I'm stopping that uh, and I'm getting on this moving thing and I really want you to do it too. Now, if you don't want to get yourself um, a Fitbit, if you don't want to be using one of these or one of the other trackers, there's not, it's not just Fitbit obviously, put a timer on your phone, put a timer on your computer, just a bell that reminds you it's time to get up and just do some steps just some movement and some stretching. We'll just need to start there. We just need to start there. So would you please promise me that you will do that? If you're going to do that, please, in the comments box below, say, I promise I'm going to move more. It's a one simple thing that you can do that could stave off all of these things. Heart disease, brain fog, Cancer, muscle degeneration, poor circulation, a bad back, stiff neck, painful joints. Come on, guys, it's vital to get moving. Okay, promise in the comments box down below, I'm going to do it, I'm going to keep moving. Something I might consider investing in also is one of the uh, uh, treadmill desks. The cheapest one I've seen of those is about £1,800, I think. So I'll have a look. I've not done any research on that, but certainly for me, I think it would be a good thing because as I've said to you, um, I need to be at my computer and at my desk all of my working day, most of my working day. So I'll let you know if and when that happens. In the meantime, this keeps telling me it's time to get up and do 200 more steps to keep yourself on track. And that's what I do. Let me know what you think. Promise me down in the comments box below. And I'll see you next time. Until then, remember that on the Happy Stuff and Fluff, we are getting happy and growing younger. See you soon.